will most likely be raised again just as troop withdrawal accelerates. Now, on the brightest side of being defamed by a sensational murder trial, newly acquitted Amanda Knox will arrive home in the U.S. to contemplate TV and film offers that could net her tens of millions of dollars. Not bad. Now, the 24-year-old has not yet been signed up by any of the U.S. networks, clamoring for the coveted first interview since her release. The frontrunners are thought to be the veteran ABC broadcasters Diane Sawyer and Elizabeth Burgess. And uh, meanwhile, the Knox family has hired a leading Seattle PR firm to handle bids which are expected to be as much as $10 million for her first TV interview since she was cleared of murdering Meredith Kircher. And before she makes up her mind, Ms. Knox repeatedly, reportedly rather, wants to spend time at home with her family. Yeah. Greed or just smartly using a situation to one's own advantage? You have to decide. I have my opinion, but I shall reserve it for the moment. Now talk about multitasking to the extreme. A motorist in the UK was caught driving while using a laptop, writing down the answers to a quiz on the radio and drinking coffee all at the same time. Imagine that. Now the behavior was observed during a crackdown on distracted drivers by Hampshire police. And other offences uh, included a man eating a pear with a knife while driving and the almost usual uh, common sight, most motorists using mobile phones. Now the police force had hired an unmarked HGV cab for the initiative in order to get a good viewprint from which they could observe and video offenders. Yeah, I've seen a lot of weird stuff happening as well. Once uh, I actually saw a lady putting on mascara while she was driving not very fast she was rather slow but she was doing that and uh, that shocked me it scared me as well you know there are all kinds of drivers all around you gotta be careful now the odds of winning a powerball jackpot are one in nearly two million but Kathy Scruggs of Lithonia Georgia appears to have beaten them without even trying the lady just won herself $25 million jackpot thanks to a store clerk who misunderstood which lottery ticket she wanted to buy. Don't you just love such mistakes? Now Scruggs said she had asked the clerk at the Shell Food Mart for a Mega Millions ticket, not a Powerball slip, but when given the other one accidentally, she decided to buy both. Scruggs said she realized she had won the prize the day after the drawing and woke up everyone in her house. If it was me, I would have woken up the neighborhood. Scruggs said she had been looking for employment since her seasonal job had wrapped up and she chose the cash option and will receive more than $15 million before taxes, according to the Georgia Lottery. You know, we often come across these stories about the lottery and I think I've also asked you on our Facebook page about what you would do if you ever won the lottery and whether you have ever tried as well. And I must confess here that I've never tried it. I don't know why, but my father used to say that it's as if we have a kind of a curse on us that, you know, don't even think in that direction. Don't even go there. I just try to make your own money. But learning about these things and, you know, uh, watching these stories and giving them to you, I am very, very tempted. I would love it. Who wouldn't? Okay, now maybe this would be a strong enough reason to make smokers think about quitting for sure. Latest research suggests 40 million smokers could die from TB by 2050. Now smokers are about twice as likely to get the lung infection and die from it compared with non-smokers and many of the new TB cases will be in Africa, the Eastern Mediterranean and Southeast Asian regions according to projections published in the British Medical Journal. A lung charity, the British Lung Foundation, said global efforts to fight TB are being undermined by the tobacco industry's aggressive promotion of smoking in some places. Now, smoking is a known risk factor for TB and may reduce the ability of the lungs to fight off infection. And if current smoking trends continue, the number of new cases of TB will rise by 18 million. So every now and then we give you more reasons to just kick the habit in the butt. Now next time any of you desire to go to the UK, beware the market flooded with frauds who promise you that dream. 
a scam exposed by BBC Wales in which overseas students are helped to cheat their way to University of Wales, validated degrees and visas is being investigated by the UK Border Agency. Now, students were being sold diplomas exempting them from work for MBAs which then entitles them to apply for a UK visa and undercover footage suggests students at the Riot London College are being offered the chance to enroll on express MBA courses using fraudulent diplomas to ensure exemptions from work uh, from much of the work rather and the UK immigration minister has confirmed its fraud and clearly trying to create and exploit a loophole in the immigration system the things they come up with I would never even have thought of that now, a Pennsylvania company has won a $1.35 million prize from NASA for developing a highly efficient airplane powered by electricity. Now, PipistrelUSA.com of State College earned the top prize in the Cafe Green Flight Challenge sponsored by Google. Now, the plane doubled the fuel efficiency requirement for the competition, flying 200 miles in less than two hours while using less than a gallon of fuel per occupant or the equivalent in electricity. And Team Pipistrel USA.com was one of 14 entrants in the competition, which began two years ago. And NASA says that in total, 14 teams investigated four, uh, invested rather $4 million in the competition. You know, I was thinking surely something like this would only be a dream in Pakistan. We have got very little fuel and almost, almost no electricity. So, yeah, don't even think about it. Okay, now, Urdu pop music pioneer Muhammad Ali Sheikhi has triggered memories of great days gone by. He has revamped his evergreen hit, Tere Ishq Me. This time featuring a dynamic Indian female singer, Rasika Shekhar, and the original recording of this song featured legendary folk singer Alan Fakir, who is sorely missing this time around. And the video of the song has been shot in New York City. And we thought, you know, we'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the new video, and then we shall be going on a very short break. entirely incorrect to say that TMS has somewhat taken up the role of being the unofficial patron of Pakistani arts. We have had many, many artists in our studio over the years, some world-renowned names, while others struggling but no less talented. The one common thing I have noticed amongst all these artists is how humble they actually are, as if somehow the fact that they are truly gifted escapes them entirely. We have one such artist with us this morning. Joining me today is one of Lahore's finest painters whose unusual and adventurous journey in this very competitive field has been recently preserved in the form of a biography. Here it is. The title is The Painter of Imprisoned Souls. Let's talk to the protagonist himself, Iqbal Hussain. Assalamu Iqbal sahab. Good morning. How are you? Very good to have you here and congratulations on your very impressive collection, your book. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Okay, um, first of all, my first question to anybody who actually, you know, writes uh, or gets a biography written, would you like your story to be, you know, read by people, told to people? Uh, it's already uh, been read so many times, uh, it's already in the first so many couple of years. 
uh, there people are reading about it also but i think it's it's, it's not a it's a biography also and about my family and my community also it's not that fully biography that you know it's so not still that way. Uh, not that way because there's some other way about also which i have keep kept in sight which can't be open at the one moment hmm. and still i go ahead and that be another maybe uh, after 5 years another book will be written oh okay so, you know, it, it's not the first and the last one it is it is but uh, the title uh, it was written uh, the book was written by majri hussain mm -hmm. let me introduce her she's an excellent uh, writer and she works uh, in karachi and uh, the title was written by her all right the paint of the so princess. how does it work out uh, of course you know you have been on the show before as well and we have spoken extensively about the background and how you got into it and how you started it and how you were initially really into landscape and not into portraits but eventually you know because uh, you are prominent as a portrait artist so you know your portraits are very uh, famous as well we know that story but when you relay to somebody what parts do you decide that should go into the book what do you pick and choose Okay, let me let me correct you one thing. I'm not a portrait painter. I'm okay. a figurative painter. All right. Right, portrait painter is like pitmans and all that who do just maybe a heroes or the portrait, just a face and all that. All right. But other surroundings are also attached Very to that. Very important, uh, of with course. The, with the composition, all that, and plus the subject matter around which it also. Hmm. And uh, the my paintings are always very painful uh, for the people to accept it. And as far as the landscapes are concerned, because I get so tired. and uh, not tired exhausted physically painting all these women in my one room listening their stories and it one painting takes a couple of months and maybe years to complete that mm. every day the model has to come for 2 3 hours in that they're already in a prison soul but i don't want to present them in my studio also right. and myself also right. so i get, uh, go outside on the uh, i love water yeah, i love water I go for the landscape just to paint ravi Mm -hmm. and, and that give me a little relaxation uh, the the timings are of the sunset and sunrise that's my best time i do it when the when it's dawn when the sunset when everything is quiet over there right. and the and the colors are just amazing yes colors and the eagles are flying everywhere people are throwing the meat from outside and feeding their you know the tortoises which is usko de rahe hote hain it i don't know why it is going like that because i remember the couple of years back when ya ravi used to flow next to the mosque theek hai so ha uh, i've heard that it it used to be and it was very yes, close yes i was not born at that time but i was born in pakistan but later on it's unconscious it's a very at some time i don't understand this mystery as ravi pud as far as going on i keep in following the ravi Okay. You know, mm -hmm. As a, it might be a different angle of maybe a psychological actor, and how this history, where my mother was born, you know, and uh, there's a spirit in this, this whole thing in it is, you know. It's and very interesting. Naturally, somebody has to have lived there, grown up there, felt the people, felt the community. to yeah. to paint the way you yeah, do yes. because rightly you said and i stand corrected what you uh, paint is more than the faces and yes. the you know it's not the there is face, there is you know? life uh, yeah. behind it as well and it's it's very reflective uh, when you look at it yes it's not the pretty face i'm painting hmm. i never never liked that you know But so many have been offered that you mujhe ye kar lo woh no this sab should there should be something in that personality you know mujhe kehte hain ye you know the fat the fat women and this mm -hmm. nothing they are ruling this world they are honest they are pure from heart look at the experience how they have gone through this like, absolutely from from the childhood mm -hmm. they are imprisoned from the childhood till date mm -hmm. they are imprisoned in every way through education they are imprisoned unko ek circle they circle them in you know, which i try to bring them out of that in circle to my paintings not it's not an easy thing to paint and digest all these things mm -hmm. the sorrows when they when the model sitting in front of me that uh, acha how the things going on all is and 99% burns into tears they can't express to anybody else so yeah. when th when that happens and i often wonder looking at your paintings uh, obviously you can see that they are painful but the experience for you is liberating or is it painful for you as well still it is a painful but liberating also well, well somehow i i think now i have a control on the media I, I, i'm able to express myself very good now Hmm. Pehli dafa ye keh raha hu first time I'm saying that I'm confident about that and abhi bhi I was just painting in the morning by my I, I can was, see on yeah, your hands I, the model was 6:30 in the morning over there and, wow and after that as soon as it goes 11 o'clock will come and 12 o'clock so this is my prime time hmm. 
to do the maximum I could do. I love my country. I owe to it. But, sir, if you any, which I disagree with that, a painter of Lahore, no. I mean, 